name is Richard Dobbs. I'm pastor of Overcomers Christian Center. And thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to be a part of us sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. And let me say thank you to all of our partners who continue to subscribe to our YouTube as well as our podcast channels, as well as those who continue to sow into this good ground. And if you're not a partner, if you're not sowing, this is your opportunity to sow into this good ground so in turn, you can receive the harvest that God has for you. And I believe truly God is doing something special for those who continue to sow into this ground, those who continue to share this message with others, and those who subscribe as well as listen and, and take, most importantly, take heed to what God is speaking to his people. Today, I want to come to you from the book of Matthew, chapter 13 and verse 16. The book of Matthew, chapter 13 and verse 16, which reads as follows. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. I want you to notice the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that were written by Matthew. Matthew 13 and verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, blessed are your eyes, for they see and your ears for they hear. I want to talk to you for a few minutes on this topic. It is a blessing to see and hear with understanding. It is a blessing to see and hear with understanding. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for your word. Pray that this word will have free course into the lives of your people. Father, we pray for knowledge and understanding of your scriptures. Father, we don't take that for granted. We pray that the people of God will hear, not only hear, take heed and apply your word in their everyday life. We bind the enemy right now that will try to hinder or stop what Jesus is doing. We speak life into the people of God, for you came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Bless your people, Father, and only like you can. Touch only like you can. Bless those, Father, that are out there that are doing their best to obey you in every area of their life, Jesus. And Father, we thank you for it and give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Lord. You know, when I, as I was studying this, sometimes, at least it, I was guilty of this, we take receiving God's word for granted. For example, just the fact that we understand scriptures and understand what uh, a sermon or understand a Sunday school lesson or understand what we, uh, while we pray and give and treat people right. Sometimes I believe we take that for granted because when I studied this, I realized that not everybody understands the scriptures, not understands God's written and revealed word. And the reason that, especially, oh yeah, especially when tragedy happens in their life or a, a loss happens in their life or something that doesn't go in line with what they think should be happening to them. And, and that can be tough. And I, I realize that because uh, sometimes God doesn't give us all every explanation of why he does everything that he does. And we have to trust God wholeheartedly, especially when we don't understand the things that are going on around us. But when we understand scriptures, we, it puts us in a position to remain in the faith because 1 Timothy 4 and 1 tells us that in these particular times, some will depart from the faith. It reads as follows. Now, the Spirit expressly says this, in the latter times, some will depart from the faith. They're going to withdraw themselves or remove themselves from their trust, their confidence, their assurance, and so forth in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Why? Because they're going to give heed to deceiving spirits, misleading spirits, those that are corrupt, those that lead into error, and doctrines of demons, the teachings and the instructions of demonic activity, or those that oppose the will of God. And of course, we know that the enemy will use people to deceive as well as teach doctrines of demons. And we see that here in the time that we're living in. People are being deceived as well as being taught by demonic activity. And so, but the, what, what they're saying here is they're going to leave the faith. 
They're going to leave their trust, their confidence in Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not saying they're leaving the church, but I'm saying they're leaving the faith. When you leave Jesus, what else is there? Now, we look here in Matthew 13 and 10. I want you to know some of what Jesus said or to see what happened in this particular text. And the disciples came to him saying, came to him, why do you speak to them in parables? It's, it's, it's learners, the ones who were following him, his pupils. They came and said, why do you speak? Why do you teach? Why do you preach to them in parables? Parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. And in Matthew 13, 11, he responds, he responds like this. He answered and said to them, because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it has not been given. What a blessing it is. What an honor and a privilege. We, we don't take for granted just to have to be granted or extended the opportunity to learn and to understand what the Bible calls the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it has not been given. But it's a blessing to know that you as a believer, you as a born again believer, you that believe in our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, you are going to get to know the, the mysteries, the mysteries, the hidden purposes, the secret things not obvious to the understanding of the kingdom of God. You know it's a blessing to understand the power of prayer. It is a blessing to understand when you read in God's word and be able to comprehend what it's saying. It is a blessing. But there are those who don't quite understand as the Bible lets us know. Now, he continues in Matthew 13 and 12 by saying this, whoever has to him more would be given and he will have an abundance. But, with that, but whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken, taken from him. So whoever has to him more will be given. He will have an abundance. See what's said, will it see increase even the more? See, as you continue to, at, listen, honor God's word, respect God's word, as you put God's word into action, he is going to give you more. <clears throat> the more you apply, the more God's going to give you. The more you witness and tell others about the goodness of Jesus, the more he's going to give to you. You have more testimonies to tell. You have more testimonies to give to people so people can come to the revelation of Jesus Christ from his written and revealed word. But to those who will not do, he says, I will take it away from them. And it goes on to say in Matthew 13 and 13, therefore I speak to them in parables because seeing they do not see and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand I like what Jesus says here. He says, the reason I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, they do not discern. They're not aware. They don't take heed. And that which is very important. They don't take heed to what he's speaking into their lives. You know, one thing I know about God, God is speaking to the world today, but you are blessed that you can comprehend what the word of God is saying, what the spirit of God is speaking. It is a blessing to be able to understand. See, we're not leaning on our own understanding, but we're acknowledging him and God is directing our paths. paths. We're not perfect in what we do, but it's a blessing to be guided. Even when we mess up, God has a way of getting us back on track. You see that all throughout scripture from David to Paul's day, to Peter's day. I'm telling you, God is doing what he said he would do according to his word. But there are those who hear, they do, listen, they hear, but they don't hear. They don't attend to it. They don't consider what's being said. They, they, they don't grab a hold of what God is saying. So therefore, they don't understand. They can't put things together. They can't make connections in their mind with what the spirit of God is saying. He's making it clear that we can see and hear with our natural senses, but not with our spiritual senses. It's a blessing to be able to make spiritual and natural connection, to see how God is working. You know, one thing I, we have seen here, and I know you know it like I do, that, listen, this Bible has is right. 
This Bible is not right. It is right right now. It, listen, listen. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is. We was right then. He is right now, and he will be right in the future. He just wasn't right when he was walking here on the earth, but God is right today. I'm talking about in the year 2021 or whenever you hear this message, he is right right now and will continue to be right. Glory be to God. Let's go on to Matthew 13 and 14. And in them, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, Here you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. Notice the prophecy, the prediction of events related to Christ's kingdom. Notice what he says here. It is fulfilled. It is complete. Hallelujah. And, and, but he says it's for a reason. Why is it that these people hear and don't quite get it? And they see, but don't quite understand it. Well, let me say this to you. God gives us the reason why in Matthew 13 and 15. For the hearts of this people have grown dull. Wow. They have grown though. Their thoughts, their feelings, and their mind. Their heart has grown. Notice it, it growing means that it goes from one stage to another stage. But the stage is not good. It, they have started from maybe in a small area of being dull to it's getting bigger and bigger. It has grown dull. Dull means it's thick, it's fat, it's callous. In other words, you can hard to read hard to receive when your heart is callous. You think you know everything. You're leaning on your own understanding. As Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 proclaims to us. You're leaning on your own, own understanding. You're not acknowledging him in all your ways and him, he's directing your path. You're leaning on your own understanding and we're sad about it. Listen, you think it's working but let me say to you, God has a better way for you. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Lord God, he has the best way for our lives. But we have to acknowledge him. We have to acknowledge him. These people, their hearts have, have grown dull. Let me read the rest of the scripture to you. Their ears are hard of hearing and their eyes have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears. Lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them. You know, what's interesting about this, when you look at this particular scripture, you almost think that God doesn't want them to know. But remember, he has been sharing it with them. They've heard things, they've seen things, but they made up in their mind, their hearts have grown dull. And we don't want to be like that. We don't want our hearts to be dull to the what God is speaking to us. We don't want to be dull. So when our hearts grow dull and callous, we hinder our own deliverance, our own protection, protection, our own peace, and our own prosperity. We need a tender heart toward God and his written and revealed word. We want to receive our better and ultimately be better. Now, let's look at the verse that we started out with, Matthew 13 and 16. But bless, whoo, glory be to God, happy, fortunate, well off, are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. You're blessed. When your eyes perceive and your ears understand. Wow. Wow. It's a blessing to be able to understand God's written and revealed word. And we can't take that for granted. No, no, no. We can't take it for granted because according to the scripture, some people's hearts have grown dull. But it's a blessing when you be able to understand uh, let me give you a few examples. Of, it's a blessing to understand. It's a blessing to understand that when you repent and ask God to forgive you, he will forgive you. Lord, when you repent and ask God to forgive you of your sin, it is a blessing when you understand that. It's a blessing to understand that giving works. It's a blessing to understand that your prayers are making a difference. And, and, and you understand why you pray. You understand why you give. You understand why you love your neighbor. You understand that witnessing, witnessing is causing souls to come into the kingdom of God. You understand that you have the power, that God has given you power to cast out devils. You got the power to lay hands on the sick and the sick recover. You got power. That's been given to you by the Holy Spirit. You got power that God reveals to you through his written and revealed word. It's a power. 
Listen, it's a blessing that you are blessed to be a blessing to others. Lord, it's a blessing to understand that it is a blessing to hear and to grab, grab a hold and to perceive and to understand God's written and revealed word, how it relates to you in your everyday life. It's a blessed be able to, listen, you may not know all the answers, but what you know, you can apply it and you know God will do, uh, do the rest because we walk by faith and not by sight. Let me tell you something. It's a blessing to know and understand the scriptures. It's a blessing to see and hear and understand God's written and revealed word. It's a blessing to know that when you give, it's going to be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over shall mean given to your bosom. It's a blessing to know that when you go to church, you understand the power of church. You understand that miracles are taking place in the church. You understand when the preacher is giving you your written and revealed word. You don't want nobody to hinder what God has for you. You understand the power of sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with others. It is a blessing to see and to hear with understanding. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for these precious believers who see and hear with understanding. Father, we don't take that for granted because there's so many people that, that read your word, that study, even try to pray, but don't understand the power behind what they do. But Father, I know these believers that, that are listening and watching me they hear, they understand, they perceive, they grab a hold. That's why they continue to do it. That's why they continue to remain in the faith. Even when people think their prayers are not being answered, they understand they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, run and not be weary, walk and not faint. Thank you for allowing us, God, to grab a hold, showing us the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Father, we don't take that for granted. And if we have in the past, we repent and thank God for the power of repentance. We ask you to forgive us and help us to do better, to appreciate the fact that we understand and we're understanding even the more your written and revealed word. We're not leaning on our own understanding, but in all our ways, we're acknowledging you and you're directing our paths. Thank you for it, God. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Well, thank you so much for being a part of the Word of God today. We thank you for being able to see and to hear with understanding. I now to give you some important information on how you can sow into this good ground because you, you know the power of sowing. You know the power of seed and time and harvest. You know that. Just as well as you would like to send in your prayer request, uh, the announcer will give that information as well. But thank you for allowing us to come to wherever you are to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And remember, without a vision, the people perish. We'll see you next time. Hello and welcome to the Overcomers Christian Center website where you can find us located at OCCBR.org and we are under the direction of Pastor Richard D. Dobbs and First Lady Cassandra J. Dobbs and here at OCC our vision is empowering and equipping our world. To the right of the website you will find our social media pages and if you click on the media page you will find our weekly YouTube videos where you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as our weekly podcast that you can access by clicking this link right here. If you like to donate or give to the ministry, you may do so by mail or if you like to donate online, you have two options. The first option is by clicking on the donate this donate button, which will lead you to the paypal.com website or you may use the giving app. You can access the giving app by either texting GIVE to the phone number and following the directions, or you can download the giving app via Apple Store or Google Play. Thank you so much to your giving and your donations as it helps us to give to the ministry, give to the community, and share the gospel. If you'd like to send a prayer request, you may do so by filling the following information here to your right. 
And if you would like to visit our church, our weekly services are Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. And you may access the, the address and telephone number right here under the contact section. Thank you so much on behalf of Pastor and First Lady Dobbs. Be blessed.